After a 20 minute rant in the Capitol, former Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin leaves the building, refusing to answer any questions, including the big one. So are you going to run for governor again? After all, he showed up one hour before today's big filing deadline in Kentucky. Well, the answer came at four o'clock, the exact deadline time. Matt Bevin did not return and he did not enter this year's race for Kentucky governor. But his fiery attack about the state of JCPS and West Louisville made for one strange and interesting day in Kentucky politics. WHAS 11's Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Jessica Farley were there as the Bevin countdown lasted all day. Well, no doubt former Governor Matt Bevin saw the tweets. He saw the photos of folks waiting here to see if he would file or not. Ultimately, he chose not to instead taking the opportunity to talk about what he calls failures within the state. This was the hours long wait just outside the Kentucky Secretary of State's office all morning and afternoon Friday. News crews waiting to see if the polarizing former governor would show and put his hat in the ring once more just before the filing deadline. Instead, how many of you all were sitting in the hall all day? Of you. Matt Bevan took the opportunity in a 20 minute long speech to talk about issues he says need to be addressed. Wear this out. Demand better. He voiced concern over JCPS and the level in which kids are learning, although he made it clear not to blame teachers or students themselves. We have for generations failed these kids. So if it's not the teachers and it's not the students and it isn't, then where is the problem? The problem is in the same antiquated, broken, incompetent governance that has existed for generations. He called on lawmakers to be out in the community more and to make common sense changes, including fixing the juvenile justice system and getting rid of the car tax. Bevan also spoke to the violence plaguing Louisville, specifically the West End. Hundreds of people being killed in the streets. During the speculation, we spoke to University of Kentucky political science professor Stephen Voss talking about what would happen if Bevin had filed to run for the Republican nomination. Bevin would bring into the contest a lot of name recognition everywhere in the state, and that does give him an, an advantage. But with the GOP field set and Bevin out, Voss says it leaves candidates like Attorney General Daniel Cameron and even former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Kelly Kraft to compete for name ID votes. After his appearance, Bevin did not take questions from the media, rather walking out of the rotunda with reporters following. Once outside, he told us to, quote, be bold out there, wear the legislature out on these issues. Now we reached out to JCPS for a response on Bevin's words, including when he suggested people to consider the JCPS Board of Education to be impeached. For now, the school district says they're not commenting. Here in Frankfurt, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 1119 on your side.